Hello and welcome to Crew Match. my name is Greg and today we're going to be taking a look around this Ford Mondeo. It's a 2 litre diesel engine, it does come with the Vignale level trim and also the power shift automatic transmission. It's a very sophisticated car but it's also ideal for practicality. There's ample amounts of boot space in this boot, there's enough there to swallow your weekly shopping with ease or even some luggage for that weekend away. Rear passengers get to sit in luxury with the cream leather upholstery, leather centre armrest and two cup holders as fixed points and access to the rear air vents. A decorative door insert greets you on the way into the front interior and you also get the cream leather upholstery throughout with black contrast and the front seats are electronically adjustable. The driver does get to use the leather wrapped multifunctional steering wheel with controls for the voice commands and also the cruise control. Up front you've got a semi-digital dashboard with all the views that you could need for your day-to-day -day driving with the likes of your speed, also satellite navigation systems, your phone and also any entertainment devices. Onto the entertainment device in the centre which is the built-in touchscreen infotainment system. This is a Ford Sync infotainment system which is very responsive. It does have satellite navigations so that you're never getting lost even on them unknown roads. You've also got the benefit of having DAB, FM and AM radio in this vehicle and the climate for ease of viewing does pop up on the screen. This is a dual climate control so there's no need for arguments between the passenger and the driver as both can have it at their preferred temperature. You've also got the Bluetooth connectivity for the mobile phone, keeping you in touch with your family and friends. And by the settings, you can see that this car does operate the Apple CarPlay and does come with the various vehicle settings that you can view on this screen. By popping this vehicle into the reverse gear, it does operate that rear view camera with rear sensors and front sensors, perfect for when parking in them tight city car park spaces. Here's the various shortcut buttons and the dials for that infotainment system. You've also got heated seat functionality with three different heat settings, so it's perfect for them cold winter months. Flowing through the centre console then, you've got a storage compartment with also the 12 volt power supply. Next to the automatic transmission, you do have various parking settings and also the sensors, two cup holders and storage under the centre armrest with also USB ports. 